Well, hey there once again, folks. Welcome to part seven. I think I'm, st I'm honestly starting to lose count. I feel like there's been a lot. Uh, we're getting there, though. We are making our way to Hoboken, New Jersey. Uh, and we are just about to actually cross the state line here where we're sitting. Uh, run a couple of uh, Norfolk Southern SD70 M2s uh, under the watchful eye of Minerman on the right there. Uh, but anyway, we're getting ready to pull out of Suffern Yard. We're going to go between Suffern, which is where we're at now, and about Glenrock uh, Borough Hall which is kind of right where the line that we're on now, part of the old Erie line, uh, diverges off to the right. And the line we're going to stay on will continue on to the left. So we're going we're gonna to knock down some miles today. Again, part seven. So let's go ahead and get this sucker ready. Get ready to scooch. Some good old Norfolk Southern, Southern tier. Just a regular old manifest headed to uh, Croxton, I guess you could say. Going by the... Uh, yard tower here let's go ahead and double check this is a free roll that I just kind of set up here so let's make sure that we are on track we're gonna have to uh, really keep an eye on this the farther south we get towards uh, Glen Rock but anyway off to the left here you can see the rail line right there that's where we were in the very last video on the Piermont branch um, that heads right through town over that way and then the Mawa uh, Ford assembly is off to our right here and uh, we got quite a few stations. Like I said in the last video, this is where the uh, the passenger stuff really starts uh, to take hold is through here. Uh, we got several stations we're going to pass through here. The, uh, the first one, of course, being Suffern. Which is right here. As soon as we come out of the yard here, we'll get that line speed. Got a road going beneath us here. Alright, so that is Suffern Station. Wait, is that Mama or is that Suffern? They're so close together. Anyway, we have crossed into New Jersey. We are done with the uh, York variant of the new state. We are now in the uh, Jersey variant of the new state. And that would be an alerter going off. Okay, that was interesting. It's almost like the sound that it makes when you start the engine up. This is an old Searchlight Simulation Enhancement Pack, and these have been known to bug out. So we'll just pretend like that didn't happen. Oh, it's the PCS is open. These don't work anyway, so yeah, pay no attention to those. Let's see if we still got power here. The alerter on this thing should work. Yeah, we're getting revs. We're getting amps. The alerter should alert us audibly. I love that bassy sound these things produce, man. It's a good noise. It's a noise you can feel. Alright, here comes our line speed. Now 
Now, it starts to get pretty hectic um, from here to Hoboken. Uh, and, and that's an understatement. There's going to be a lot going on. It's, I'm going to try to keep up with all of it, but uh, I will probably fail. Let's go ahead and hop out and look around real quick here. Oh, there's the alerter going off. I got it. So this, I think, is the uh, the southern end of uh, Suffern here, down this highway, and Mawa. This is the Mawa River right here. Like I said, back that way, you can see that behemoth, the uh, the Ford assembly plant, and again, the Piermont branch is back that way, and we are sadly leaving the mountains, but that does not mean it's not any good, because it's about to get really thick with uh, buildings, stations, all kinds of stuff. A lot of industry. There's a ton of industry dotted all around here as well. This is Mawa. Okay, this is the uh, Mawa station. I was thinking it was closer that way. See a little building over here on the left. Do a quick run by. All kinds of goodies, man. I love a good junk train. This new age of uh, precision railroading. I'm sorry, but uh, that's just kind of boring to me, I find, personally. I feel like uh, these junk trains and manifold trains are going to be a thing of the past. So anyway, here is Mawa Station. It's, it's unique in its own right. Got a little awning sticking out here. This definitely is not one entire asset. All these stations are like this, though. They all—they're all cool in their own uh, in their own respect and right. Let's go ahead and try and catch back up to the train. And there's definitely a couple of places along the route where you will spot a miner man in the wild. Um, I'm trying to remember where a few may be. Anyway, we're coming up on Ramsey Route 17. This is another passenger station. We're about to scream through right here got a nice little substation over here and that looks nice too it looks uh very scary like your hair might turn white if you walk through there now we've got a little let's pause it real quick actually hold on where we is on the map that's what I was looking for the siding right here. This is one of many sidings. Alright, that's Weyerhaeuser. Let's go ahead and get out on pause. So this is another little spur, little industry along the line here that you can work. And this place looks cool as well. It's got the, uh, the little overhang you can actually back in here that they run up and set some nice, you know, boxcars back here. And they run back here and fill them up, whatever they got. Love stuff like that, man. I could literally just say little detail, you know, a hundred times doing this video and any other video because it is, it's just little details everywhere and they're amazing. This big old radio tower. I mean, it's just chocked full of stuff just all over the place. Even, even like the little custom trucks like this. Of course, custom buildings. And if you really keep your eyes peeled, you might be able to catch a Minerman. I feel like he's down here right by the uh, railroad itself. I'll try and keep my eyes peeled. Anyway, here's Route 17. And, of course, the station, which is right under it, which that's pretty cool right there in its own right. And then it's got this massive uh, parking garage, which I've always found interesting because it 
butts up right next to the railroad right here. And it's uh, sat at kind of a, a cockeyed angle to the railroad itself. Obviously, it's straight on with the, uh, the route there. Let me let the map load in here. There we go. But yeah, this place right here is cool. It's a nice looking area. This parking garage that's set up here. Ooh, it's dark. It just looks good, man. I don't even know how he made this. I'm, I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, I don't know. It looks nice, though, man. And just all kinds of stuff. All kinds of buildings, houses, businesses. A whole lot of uh, center blocks, pallets, boxes. Just stuff everywhere. Oh, look at this. First time I'm seeing this little farm going on here. Some kind of co-op or something. I have genuinely not seen this before. Right by the railroad. And look at that too, man. It's even got different uh, bales of hay all chucked in there. Keeping them out of the rain. That's cool. I, uh, I haven't seen that before, genuinely. That's that's what this route does, man. Every time you run it, you, you notice something different. It... Uh, you know, some routes in train sim, you can tit for tat each little thing. You can you can count it out, you know, like your fingers and toes. It's just, uh, you know, like that with some stuff. But Bergen Line, it is not. I'll right, we'll go ahead and let the map load in here. My poor old hard drive's having a hard time keeping up. So that was Ramsey Route 17, Ramsey Station. Uh, we've got Allendale Station, I think, coming up. And the bell's still on. continue so yeah it's considerably flatter out here got a couple of ball fields a couple of stick ball parks ah here we go level crossing yes very nice complete with arms that work cross bucks nice little shady street back here and a uh, gas station Dude, even, even this, is this, is this an entire asset? I honestly can't tell. The roof looks the same, so maybe it is. Possibly it is? I don't know. Oh, minor man jeep. He hiding in the bushes. All right, he's not there. Let's continue on. All right, this is uh, Gertzen Plaza and Ramsey. It's a pretty big platform. Aha! We found him. There he is. This looks like, uh, well, like a bar, pub, a little restaurant or something. I like these old buildings too, man. That's, that's one of the cool parts about, I've said it 20 times probably, but the Munich Augsburg, the German, the uh, Bavarian, whatever, coming through into the route. You know, it's not all just the the kind of standard crappy americanized houses that we get for assets and uh in train sim and stuff like this and it, it looks nice but there he is there's his jeep and this is just a nice little uh nice little alley avenue crossing here looks nice man complete with the uh stars and stripes A blast through Ramsey here. It's 
See, you can tell we're uh, we are out of the sticks now, and we are uh, we are inching closer to civilization. It is getting thick, but it's still really leafy. It's still really green, really nice. He's still got the. Uh, I think even to this day, he's still kind of going back and putting bushes and grass trackside in other places, which is nice. I'll fly up here, get the, the bird's eye view. Ah, here we go. Got some more industry. Another little spur right here. What is this here? Uh, oh, alerter's going off. Oh, God. There we go. Got it. Good to go. All right. Let's see. This is Anderson Logistics. So, again, another spur right on the main line. You can work that sucker. That building right there definitely is custom. Some more warehouses right here. Got a little uh, bridge over the uh, highway here, crossing. And I love these uh, these cell towers put up along the route as well. Because, I mean, you see these things everywhere nowadays, right? Got a little reservoir retention pond going on back here. Anybody back here fishing? All right, let's pause it. What's this here? Some kind of dam? Yeah, it looks like it might be a reservoir of some sort. Damming up the uh, the water or something. And look at that place, dude. Way off the map back there. That place right there. That is not a, uh, a standard asset. Wow. Just keeps... Going. All right, here's Allendale. I think I said that like 10 minutes ago and I was 1000% incorrect. All right, this is Allendale. So we're getting close to Waldwick Yard, which is, uh, I think, the largest yard around here aside from Croxton. Um, you know, between here and Port Jervis, anyway, and Suffern Yard. But this area, man, this little village here, this looks cool as hell. Got a dude on a moped. <laughs> Is this, uh, is that from the virtual New Haven Railroad route, uh, Springfield? I think it is, but this right here, man, just these, the perfect choice of these weeds, these little wildflowers right here. I just feel like those kick up, you know, areas like this, a, uh, a significant notch with, you know, looking green and, and realistic with, uh, flora and whatnot. And then, of course, the stations, you know, he didn't keep the, the same station over and over. He made something totally different each time. Got a little ticket machine out there. Ah, here we go. It's a, uh, like an EMT garage or a fire station or something. Allendale Fire Department, possibly. I guarantee if you look on uh, GPS, Google Maps, that's what it'll be. But yeah, this area back here looks cool, man. It's got that old small town feel to it. Little square right here in the middle. And what a view too, man. Just looking down one of these streets, watching the train fly by. Yes. Love stuff like that. Alright, heading on. Another street. Another massive building. This looks like, uh, yeah, this is like a, a little shopping strip, shopping center. And look at that, man, again. <laughs> that's awesome. That's the first one of those I've seen, so that's, you know, no, no two of anything on this route is the same. That's just, uh, that's significantly unique. 
right there just just different types of buildings and assets mashed together and it just melts and gels very well that's cool man just the view from up here too with the uh the mountains in the background got the railroad right there always going to be finding stuff like this on this route got a little creek going through here in a ditch a drain pipe there's another one see even that one hidden behind the trees like he he took the time to put that there i don't think a lot of people would okay that freaked me out for a minute this i saw this truck on the uh the railroad right there i was like what the hell it's uh i gotta remember i froze it i thought somehow uh the truck inadvertently got placed on the railroad so this looks like a neighborhood being built right here some townhomes or something which again that's awesome man love seeing stuff like this i don't remember this before either that's how this route is man every time you run it all right so here is waldwick we'll chill right here at this crossing let that truck get out of the way Go around the curve down there. Do have a speed reduction trying to get down to. Again, another big yard you can play around with. Waldwick right here. Then Waldwick's got their own station. Pause it real quick. This is a, a thick area to look around in. With a big power substation place is massive Jesus it's bigger than the last one got an old tower right here very nice of course uh, guarding that yard and this is a uh, I guess it's just a Y turn an engine around I honestly don't know what this is But this right here, man, look at this. Dude, I haven't seen this before either. What is this? I honestly don't know what this is. That's cool. Doggy! Doggy! Oh, I see in the dogs around this route. It's another neat thing. Looking for, uh, what is it, a border collie? And uh, minor men. All right. Another yard. This is another lumber uh, facility. Let's see. Let's let that run. E. De. De Martini Lumber. It's even got a phone number on there. <laughs> Is that really a phone number? I'm going to I'm going to try and call that later. But again, another siding right here on the main line. That's awesome. And it's it's done up, man, to the nines again. Got a safety fence. Oh, alerter's going off. I got it. Minerman Jeep. You know, I'm I'm starting to genuinely wonder when I see one of these jeeps now. Is it like a uh, boy who cried wolf type thing? Like, because now I see one and I immediately start looking for him. Another station, again. Obviously, this station that's not one asset. He's put several things together here, and with with what he had, right? The the asset pack between you know, U.S. EU assets and then the three routes that you need he's still able to create places that look like the real place you know to a degree as much as it can another one over here 
Got the walkway going across the railroad. Another doggy! Jesus. Somebody's missing some doggies. It's two doggies. It's like they're going the same direction, too. That one was going this way as well, wasn't he? What's this guy doing? You lose your dog? No. I don't think he did. But yeah, just details, details, details everywhere you look. And uh, you, sometimes you got to have a sharp eye, too. Some more custom created stuff right there, a little shopping center. Is here as well. What is this? Some kind of uh, water treatment plant? That's got to be. And this. So I don't think water treatment plants that look like this, right, are part of an asset pack. I'm I'm not a map maker, okay, not by any means, but I don't think. I mean, just look how different they are from one to the next. So again, those were created and it, it looks legit. It's pretty cool. Got some tennis courts. Got another dam. Oh, look at this. Dude shishing. I don't want to catch around here. What, maybe bass, trout? Uh oh. Uh oh. You see what I'm talking about, man? Sometimes it's like uh, one thing leads to the next on this line, it's like the Da Vinci Code. I swear to God. Like, if you see one thing, keep looking. Keep going. There's probably something else to see. I don't know. Maybe this dude works here, but that's cool, though. Too bad there's no, like, uh, fishing pole asset you can throw in his hand. Or is there? I don't know. Here's the country club for the tennis court. I will never do that accent again. Sorry. I'm guessing that's what that is. Another huge facility. All right, we're coming up on one of the funnest, uh, I guess, station names to say on the entire route. Hohokus. Or Hohokus. Another radio cell phone tower, 5G. 5G all in your brain. I just don't know where to look sometimes, man. What's going on? This must be like, uh, I'm guessing like a municipal works or something. Got their own fuel pumps, truck, cop car over here. Yeah, it must be another custom building. Dude, all over the place. You know, it just it'd be one thing to just plop buildings down all over this map, right? But then customize them essentially make your own buildings got another crossing this is a very cool uh, line of sight right here love looking back this way looking down this twisty road here with a train flying by and there's a nice view of the valley just uh, north here just set up right there looking out that way tell me that's not a nice view it is pretty, man. It's amazing what you can make in this game. It still amazes me, this route especially. Another nice little truss bridge. Another bridge. Now the town, I really don't know how to pronounce this place. If any, uh, any of you uh, fellas up north, if I'm not pronouncing this right, please let me know. I think it's Hohokus. I mean, it's got dashes in the name. So, I guess it's Hohokus. Again, another station. Got a nice little platform to stay dry. And again with the rock outcroppings here. It's not just earth. Not just grass texture number one or whatever it's called. You know, stuff added. Little details. 
Some big houses up on the hill, man. They got that view. That million dollar view. This must be the town down here. Yeah, it looks like it is. Right on. Downtown Hahokus. All right, let's hop back in. Right. All right, Hahokus. I think Ridgewood is next. Got our uh, speed boards down there. Very nice. We can give her another couple of notches. And we've got a significant downgrade right here. 1.3%. So I could probably actually do without the throttle. This is a cool station as well. This whole town, actually. And sadly, you can't see it all. And it's a uh, majesty sitting inside the uh, the cab here. So, I'm going to hop back out. There we go. So this is Ridgewood. The station, three tracks. Platforms running down either side. And then you've got staircases that go down and under in real life obviously it looks amazing got the safety fence on either side another station it's a pretty good sized town big church back here downtown Ridgewood I guess another station on this side or other part of the station Yeah, this looks nice, man. Get that street down there. It looks nice. Yeah, nice town, Ridgewood. Not sure what this is. Got another gas station. That right there is a custom asset as well. Very nice. Big old service station. Uh, let's see what else. Let's let the train catch up here. So we got three tracks. I need to be careful right here because we are still on the old Erie line, right? But it's going to branch off. So I need to make sure we do not do that. We got another uh, spur right up there. Oh, Jesus. Yes, we do not want to go that way. Not right now, anyway. Oh, uh, did I do it right? Okay, I think I did. Woo! Up, oh, alerters going off. Jesus, almost got me again. So that switch right there, I'm not exactly sure what it's for. I guess it's a as-needed type of thing, and I'm speeding over this switch like a numpty goodness gracious don't derail I said it at the beginning of the video and I still forgot like a maroon all right so it's Bergen County line right here this way off to the right is the old Erie line and that is a very cool little line as well um, Guess I can go ahead. Guess we can go ahead and run down there. Uh, see if it loaded in most of the map anyway. So let's go ahead and pause it. So it is just thick, man. There's so much stuff around here. Some more custom buildings, once again. Just littered with them, man. They are all over the place. Road going under right there. All right, Suburban so County line. We are just about at Glen Rock Borough Hall. Just lovely scenery, though, man. It looks amazing. 
And the fact that you can run, you know, behemoth freights through here, you know, a little maintenance away, a little local passenger trains, whatever, you know, it, uh, it handles it all. So anyway, this right here is the old Erie line. You're going to see how far it'll allow us to go down here. Now that over there is Glen Rock Borough Hall. So this whole area is Glen Rock, but then Glen Rock, just Glen Rock is right up here, this station here. But this is a, it, it just, it branches off a couple of miles and then it just kind of ends down there because obviously the, uh, the route does not continue that way. It goes to Hoboken, but it's got this massive crossing in this tree lined street right here. I love the street. Look at that, man, especially turning around, watching those arms come down on a train screaming past. This area is just gorgeous. Now, I don't know what that is, I hate to say. It's, I'm sure that's some significance. Um, I, I should have looked it up. But anyway, another big uh, row of shops there. But it's clean out here, man. The way the track's laid and just the curb and the fence and the bushes. Like, look at that. That looks amazing. It's a little station here. So farther down, that's the, uh, I think it's the Passaic River down there. And I don't think it's going to let me go all the way down there. If it doesn't, I can do it in the next video. Yeah, it's not loaded in. So the Passaic River is down there. I think it's the Passaic River. And there's a, uh, a huge interchange as well. Well, not interchange. Um, we'll say crossing. I don't think it's an interchange. Let's go ahead and slow the train down. We'll unpause it and hit the brakes. All right, now we're slowing down. All right, so this is the line I was just mousing, free mouse, free cam. What the hell am I saying? There's another uh, industry down here, Nexus Plastics. All right, that is the alerter going off. Crap. Did it get us? No, I don't think so. I'm just going to let the train creep right there as is. <clears throat> anyway, Hawthorne, another passenger stop down here. So here it is. Here is the, I guess it is an interchange. So this is, uh, yeah, it is an interchange. Okay. So what is that? Ah, okay. That goes to Patterson, New Jersey, but this area down here and the way this is built looks pretty cool. I'm going to have to try and make a point to get down here, but it effectively ends right down here there's like a pretty good sized lumber yard but the uh, I think it's the Passaic River is down here again I hope I got the uh, pronunciation right but anyway the way this is laid out this area right here is really nice and then there's I feel like there's an area down here that's uh that's right by the river yeah it's like right here on the map anyway you can't see it here so it's kind of pointless but Again, it's just, it's dotted with activity. There's all kinds of stuff going on down there. So I'm going to try and make a point to get down there on uh, the next video or after. Let's fly down and catch up to the train. Another level crossing. And this, uh, oh, that's the same road. I just realized that. Man, dude, if, if you could set up two adjacent trains on both lines that would be pretty sweet just look down that road it looks magnificent that's cool really like that got a nice little park over here looks like or a memorial of some sort all right where are we at don't get away all right this is Glenrock Borough Hall right here so this is the other um Glen Rock. Glen Rock Numero Dos. Big highway there. Looks like a track, so we might might have like a, a high school or something around here. Or is that a dog track? No, we got tennis courts. That's a human track. 
All right. And yes, we're starting to see larger buildings getting ever closer to civilization. All right, this is about where I'm going to try to stop because there's a lot of other stuff to get to. This is the Nabisco um, spur right here. We'll let the train get down to it. So that is... What's what's the entire name? National Biscuit Corporation, I think. Yes. Yes, the, the OG Nabisco. So this... Uh, there we go. So there's an extra spur right there. And then you effectively, I guess, could back onto it right here. Of course, we got more custom buildings. So it's it's it mainly serves Nabisco, but I think there's a few other companies right here. Yeah, let's see. Constantine and Tandy, Fairlawn Industrial Track. All right, here's Nabisco shipping. So I think Nabisco is at the back. There we go. Look at this, man. I love stuff like this. You don't even need a train on it for it to look amazing. Look at that. The weeds. You know, it's one of those tracks that doesn't see a wheel that often. It's just grassy as hell. A little crossing right here. What is this? The uh, corporate office, probably. And you got two tracks jutting out on either side. And here we go. This must be the main plant right here. Look at this, man. Just more industry. If passenger's not your thing, it doesn't matter. Because this, this route, honestly, either or. Definitely getting closer to civilization. It's getting thicker and thicker and flatter and flatter because we're getting close to the uh, the water down here. Which uh, in itself, man, it's just... It's a different animal the whole way down this route, I'm telling you. What station is this? I don't even know what station this is. Hold up. Ah, Radburn. Okay. Another level crossing as well. Now, I think I only found one Minerman. This whole little jaunt here. And I'm certain there's more than just one. There's got to be. Again, custom building. Station here. It's just awesome, man. Okay, I thought that was Minerman. It's not. Just some dude. But yeah, at this point, uh, we'll we'll chop it right here at Radburn because we've got uh, a a slight slight bit more ways to go, I guess. Um, that didn't quite come out like I wanted it to. Uh, we're about three quarters of the way done. Um, we are not too far from Hoboken. Uh, this right here is the NY S and W um, Passaic Main Interchange as well, which itself is massive. Like you can just do stuff. Hashtag do stuff. Yeah, it sounded stupid. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff right here as well. You don't even have to get out on the Bergen line or the uh, the PJ line. Now, I wonder, I genuinely don't know anything about this this route. I wonder if this line curves around right here and then goes up here. Because I think that's the same line. 
Yeah, NYS and W. It might be. But anyway, yeah, we're getting close, and there's all kinds of stuff. Look at all this, man. And we've still got all this to go. We've got a couple of yards. We've got a couple more branch lines. Uh, and there at the very bottom is Hoboken. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, we got we got quite a lot to go. So we are out of the country and into the city for the most part. But that will conduct the uh, today's business, I guess you can say, on the magnificent uh, New York Division Bergen line by Minerman. Um, thanks for watching, though. Hope you catch the next one. Uh, Till then, take care, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.